Hello, my name is Isa, and today I will show you how you can install a digital planner on iPad. A digital planner is an interactive PDF file that lives on your iPad or other device, such as smartphone or computer, and that must be installed on a note-taking app in order to be able to edit it and decorate it. So first, you need to have the note-taking app installed on your device. My favorite is GoodNotes, but there are other great options available, such as NoteShelf 3. The next thing you need to do, of course, is to obtain the digital planner. You may have purchased it, maybe you made it yourself. And if you'd like to learn how you can do this, make sure to check my video tutorial link in the description below. But in any case, the first step is to load the planner on your screen. So if you are downloading from a website, you would need to first locate the download link. In the case of a planner purchased at printstick.shop, after ordering, you will be sent to this screen with the link to download. The link will also be sent to the email address you entered during checkout. After tapping on the download link, click on this button to download, and the planner will be saved to the downloads folder in the files app. Let's head to that download section. So locate the files app in iPad and tap here. This folder contains your recently downloaded items. Locate the planner file, tap on it, and it will load up on your screen like this. From here, locate the share button, which is this little box with an arrow pointing up, and tap there to scroll until you find your preferred app. I will open in GoodNotes. You can choose the location here, the folder where you want to keep this planner. It is important to select Import as new document. Otherwise, the new planner will be placed in between whatever document you had open and it will make a mess. If you created the planner yourself, you need to first export it as a PDF file from the app you used to create it, and it will load up like this. Here, I am using Keynote. From here, you can simply share it to the note-taking app. This time, I will locate a different app and click on where it says Open in NoteShelf 3. If you can't find your app of choice to share the planner, another option there is, is to first open the note-taking app, find the plus sign or a button to import, then you'll be given the chance to browse through your files where you can find the downloads folder and then you'll be able to select the planner to open. Another very easy way to import the planner into most note-taking apps is to enter split view, having the planner app on one side and the file management app where you have saved the planner, like files, on the other side and simply drag the file onto the note-taking apps library. If it's a planner you created yourself, you might want to have it saved as a PDF in case you want to share it with anyone or if you want to use it in a different app. So at this step, before sending to a note-taking app, you will also find the option to save to file. That's it! Once the planner is loaded onto the note-taking app, you are ready to start writing on it, adding photos or stickers, and making all your plans. If what you are importing is saved as a GoodNotes file, for example, a sticker book, the process will be the same, except you will not be able to see a preview at this screen. You will see a white page instead. Also, this type of file will only work in GoodNotes. And once you export it, the same way we did before, it will import correctly into GoodNotes and the elements will be ready to use. If you find that you are unable to click on any of the buttons or tabs, make sure to have first entered reading mode. You can do so in GoodNotes by tapping on the pen icon at the top here. This will hide the toolbar and will make the buttons or hyperlinks active. So you can just tap to navigate through the pages. This is how you can import and start using a digital planner on iPad. If you'd like to learn more on how to use the app GoodNotes, you can check out my other video tutorial linked below. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.